up our two hands and give him thanks for the privilege to be in his presence today. Give him thanks for the privilege to be in his presence this great day. We thank you, Jesus. We do thank him for answered prayers. All through the week, answers to our prayer through the three days special prayer and fasting time. Give him thanks. Blessed be your name, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, we are gathered in your presence and at your feet to receive from you. You said, come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come and learn of me and make a lowly heart. You shall find rest for your souls. Today we are here at your feet, eagerly waiting to receive from you and learn of you what will give us rest from the harassment of sickness and disease as individuals, as families, as households, and as a church. Let it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let each one receive your engrafted word with meekness today. Amen. And let it impart on our lives supernaturally. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and be seated, please. The prophetic focus for the month is I will restore health unto you. These are the words of the God that cannot lie. God in whom it's impossible to lie. Who abides faithful and cannot deny himself. I will restore health unto thee and heal thee of thy wounds. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. He said, I will restore your health and clear off your shame. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And our Sunday teaching series is captioned Understanding Our Heritage of Dominion Over Sickness and Disease. Understanding, can we say that together? Understanding Our Heritage of Dominion Over Sickness and Disease. Understanding Our Heritage of Dominion over sickness and disease. As we all know, light is the greatest asset in a world of darkness. Light is the cheapest way to humiliate the forces of darkness. When our light comes through on any subject, we start shining there. Arise and shine because your light is calm. And the glory. So light is the only way to terminate the shame and reproach of darkness. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee by his word and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles will come unto your light and their kings to the brightness of your rising. Light causes anything to shine in the midst of darkness. And spiritual understanding is what we call light. Daniel chapter 5 verse 11. There's a man in their kingdom. In the days of their father. Light and understanding 
and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods was found in him. Light and understanding and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods was found in him. In Proverbs 21 verse 16, the word says, The man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So a believer that lacks understanding is never different from an unbeliever. He struggles with the same things. He comes under the same oppression. I've never seen that level of uh, compound sickness, stroke, diabetes, hypertension that we had in that testimony. And then he read the book, The Force of Freedom. Light sprang up. Darkness gave way. Cancer. Everything disappeared at the same time. By the power of light. Is it not written? Although the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet will he not remove your teachers from you? But your ear, your eyes shall see your teacher, and your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way walking in. So it speaks to us through the teaching priest. He reaches out to us through the teaching priest. It was through the big book of Kenneth Hagin, Seven Keys to Divine Health, that I took my life insurance for total health, 1979. So he speaks to us through the teaching ministry of teaching priests. The word says wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all your gettings, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. With all your getting, get understanding. With all your getting is the greatest asset in our adventure in life. Spiritual understanding of the truth guarantees triumph every step of the way. I pray that this month will mark the end of every form of harassment of sickness and disease in every life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 20, here is the Holy Ghost speaking, brethren, be not children in understanding. How be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. In understanding, be men. In understanding, be men. And here, when it's a child, it's not different from a servant. Though he be Lord of all, boy is a child. But he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Concerning Jesus, unto us a child is born, unto us. A son is given, and the government shall be upon the shoulder of the son, not on the child. So, dominion answers to sonship, not childhood. In understanding, be ye men. Let's Wind back a bit at creation. Man was created a sickness free being. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 29 God speaking said, Unto man, behold, I've given you every herb. Bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which the fruit 
of a tree yielding seed, in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat, not for medication. For meat. So it's given to man for food, not for treatment. It wasn't scheduled for sickness and disease. You know, male and female created them, and then uh, God blessed them. You know that. In, uh, um, and God said to them, I gave you all of these herbs, all of these trees, for food, not for drugs. For food. For food. So when Adam was the son of God, it was a sickness free being. Luke chapter 3 verse 38, you saw the genealogy, uh, uh, the catalog of it. And he went on and said, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. So Adam was the son of God. And while men slept, the devil came and sowed tears. And man became a corrupt being. And sickness and disease came on. Man became a struggler. Cast out of the garden of Eden into the wilderness. There was no way to re-enter. There were two flaming angels. Angels carrying two flaming swords. Guarding the gate that man may not re-enter. Until Jesus came, lift up your heads, ye gates, and be lifted up ye everlasting doors. And now, man has been restored back to his lost glory. Amen. Can I hear your loudest? Amen. Amen. That's the whole essence of new birth. We once lived, then we died in Adam. And Jesus came. And gave us the new birth, which he called being born again. He said, The day you eat the fruit thereof, he said to Adam, You shall die. And so Adam died. Adam lost the life that gave him dominion. But Jesus came to restore the same back to us. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! It is true that we are now the sons of God. Then every attribute of the sonship of the original Adam has been restored back to us. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. 1 John 3, 2. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know what we are now. And we know also that when he shall appear, we shall be exactly like him. But we shall see him as he is. If we are now sons of God, then the dominion of sonship that Adam had over sickness and disease has been restored back to us. Adam shared the same life with God because life begets like so Adam had everlasting life. And that was short circuited by sin. And God so loved the world, he gave him no begotten son that shall believe in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. So being born again is a restoration of eternal life. The kind of life that Adam had. The life that is immune to sickness and disease. Somebody is catching something this morning. Yeah. So if you are born again, you have everlasting life. You have eternal life. He said the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, 
Open my eyes, Lord, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Therefore, from this moment, the dominion of your sonship over sickness and disease is established for life. Amen. Let me hear your resounding amen. amen. So, that you and I have eternal life is not a theory. It's a reality of the kingdom. It's the reality of new birth. So if any man be in Christ, therefore it's a new creature. All things are passed away and all things have become new. All things are passed away and all things have become new. So for everyone that is born again, sickness becomes a stranger from today. Amen. Disease becomes a stranger from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Understanding our heritage of dominion over sickness and disease. Also know that new birth is a spiritual translation from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God. The moment you step out of a kingdom, you are free from the laws of that kingdom. You come under the laws of the new kingdom that you found yourself. The devil reigns in the kingdom of darkness. And that's why Jesus said in Luke 22 verse 53, this is your hour and the power of darkness. He reigns in the midst of darkness. And his mandate is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And now at new birth, Colossians 1.13, you and I have been delivered from the power of darkness as God translates us into the kingdom of his own dear son. So, we have changed kingdom. And in this kingdom, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So you are now in the kingdom of life more abundantly. Come on, I say you are now in the kingdom of life more abundantly. You have escaped from the kingdom of to kill, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. You have escaped. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by them that had him? Say with me, I have escaped. Come on now, say confidently. Can I hear you say confidently? You, are, you have escaped from the kingdom of misfortune. The kingdom of oppression. The kingdom of pains. The kingdom of aches. The kingdom of insomnia. Sleeplessness. Struggling for survival. By salvation you have escaped from the kingdom of darkness. Where all these forces operate. Say with me one more time. I have escaped. It's not preaching we are doing. It's unveiling. It's, it's, it's actually seminary. Trying to open the things for people to have something to hold. 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 I have escaped. You tell the foul spirit of sickness, I have escaped. You think I don't know? I have escaped. Take off your hand. I have escaped. By the art of redemption, I've been translated from your kingdom. 
to the kingdom of Jesus. The kingdom of life more abundantly. I've escaped from you. Redu Shagalarado Sa. I've escaped. I've escaped from your torment and your torture. I've escaped. Thank you, Jesus. We also understand by the, by redemption, we have been repositioned far above where principalities and powers torment mankind. We have been repositioned by redemption far above the realms where principalities and powers torment, buffet, and assault mankind. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 5 and 6. Even when we were dead in sins has quickened us together with Christ by grace he has saved. And has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Mm. So we have been moved from the earthly realm to the heavenly realm. Amen. We are now seated in Christ in heavenly places. And Ephesians 1, 20 and 21 The power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right high in the heavenly places and located where? Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, including every name of sickness and disease, not only in this world but also in that which is to come. So by redemption, you and I have been repositioned Far above the realms where principalities and powers torment, torture, buffet, assault mankind with all kinds of wickedness, including all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. You can't tell what that did for me, 1979. The man. But you see that far about my eyes opened wide. My eyeballs came out. <laughs> what? It was God speaking to me alone. Me alone. Me alone. Far about. I was looking for every devil to show that we are not in the same realm. I just found out. I'm far above where you operate from. Far above where you operate from. Far above. Look, light is sweet. Yes. Ah, it's a beautiful thing for the eyes to behold the sun. Truly, the light is sweet. And it's a pleasant thing for the eyes to behold the sun. I was intoxicated with that truth. I was looking for every devil to, to show him that hey, you have been pretending to be above me. Now I found out I'm far above you. I've told this story several times. Many are tired of hearing, but I'm not tired of saying. <laughs> so I went somewhere to minister to stand in for one of my elder ones who couldn't go. And then after I finished preaching, and the God saved, I wasn't satisfied. I said, how many of you are witches here? <laughs> Stand up. Amen. And one of them, when I called them up, I called one or two of them up, he said, anytime we want to suck blood, we get on the highway, and we cause any vehicle coming to some assault, and we suck the blood of the victims. I said, what of when people like us are coming? You know how tall I was? 1979. He said, when we sense a higher power on the way, we clear off the highway. Now, from today, sickness and disease will start clearing the way for you. Amen. This is life testimony. If you check it from the time I've been shining it, nothing has been added. Nothing has been taken away from it. The truth doesn't change. 
It doesn't grow. You can only grow in the knowledge of the truth. Truth doesn't grow. It was validated by almost immediately that every believer has been translated from the kingdom of darkness. He is now seated in heavenly place with Christ Jesus and is far above where these tormentors operate. What the good news is Sickness has no more foothold in your home. Amen. No more foothold in the life of your children. Amen. Sickness has nowhere to hide anymore around your life. Amen. Can I hear your loudest? Amen? amen. So, celebrate your sonship. That's where your dominion is hidden. Celebrate your redemption. That's what has changed your kingdom. You are no longer in that kingdom of darkness where torture, torment, plague, assault dwell. You are now in the kingdom of God where only life more abundantly is allowed. Something has taken place. You have been raised together with him at redemption. It's all by grace. It's not an achievement. Are made to sit together with him in heavenly places, and that's far above. So you can keep celebrating the reality of your far above. Amen. You are a far above entity. Far above entity. Far above all devils. Far above all sickness. Far above all disease. Far above torture. Far above torment. Far above plagues. You are far above. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Now, how the word empowers us for dominion over sickness and disease. We understand from scriptures that our inheritance is as far as our eyes can see. Our inheritance in the kingdom is as far as our eyes can see. God said to Abraham after Lord departed from him in Matthew, I mean in Genesis 13 verse 14 and 15. Lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. All the land we thou seest, until you can see it, see it, I can't give it. You have to see it for me to give it. Until you see it, I cannot give it. Until you see it, you cannot have it. Until you see it, you cannot possess it. So our inheritance in the kingdom demands that we see. And that it will only be given to us as far as our eyes can see. It will only be given to each one of us as far as our eyes can see. It will only be given to each one of us as far as our eyes can see. Amen. Amen. As chapter 20 and verse 32. Paul speaking said, now I commend you to God. And to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. So our inheritance is contained in the world. And as we, until we see what our inheritance is in the world, it cannot be given to us. Amen. Now, wait a minute. In Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Whereby are given unto us this according to his divine power, he has given us all things that pertain unto giving us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called us to glory and virtue. 
So all things that pertain to life and godliness are the offers of redemption. But they are only delivered through the knowledge of him. Until we discover, we cannot recover. We must discover what it is that belongs to us before we recover them. We must first discover before we can recover. 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 We must first discover before we until a thief is found, you cannot recover what is told. If a man steals when he's hungry and is not found, then he shall be free. But when he's found, so it must be this the thief must be discovered. Stop that! Bring my thing. That's not yours. That's my thing. <laughs> well, until we discover our inheritance, we cannot take delivery. We cannot take delivery. We cannot take delivery. 1979, on the day of Ogumpa flood, I mean, I was before the Lord and I heard that awesome encounter. Himself took my infirmity. Himself took my infirmity. I saw him as it were carrying them on his head. Ooh. He took the place of Barabbas in death. And Barabbas went home throwing a party. Jesus was groaning in death. Lazarus was celebrating away because somebody took his place. Ooh. I saw Jesus took my place in sickness so I can walk free from it. And so, two years later, a doctor said, Oh, your blood pressure is high. I said, not mine. He said, look at this. I said, not necessary. You know why? I've discovered it. Hallelujah. It went back same day. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've never had one pill of high blood pressure in my life. Until you discover what belongs to you, you can't take delivery. It is discovery before recovery. It is discovery before recovery. God is no respecter of persons. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's not for plenty of devils, but for lack of knowledge. My people are going to captivity because they have no knowledge. 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 Isaiah 5 and verse 13. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, for everybody receiving this light across the nations of the earth, your dominion over sickness and disease is restored. Yeah. That's why the Bible said the world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. They are waiting for the sons of God to take their full position on the earth. Everybody is waiting. Everybody is waiting. It is at that time that Savior shall emerge from Mount Zion, that shall judge the month of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. The same way Jesus took your place and my place in sin, the sins of the world was laid on him. The same way he took our place in sickness and disease. He received 39 stripes to liberate you from every kind of sickness and disease that may ever surface on the face of the earth. So your dominion is restored today. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. In 1 John chapter 1 verse 1. Very interesting scripture. That which was from the beginning. And that's what we have been looking at. Which we have heard. Which we have seen with our eyes. Which we have looked upon. And our hands have handled of the word of life. Now, verse 3. He said, That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you that he may also have fellowship with us. Amen. That you may share the same, the same glory, the same honor, the same dominion with us. We have heard, we have seen, we have looked upon, our hands have handled of the word of life. There are many, many people today around the world in the body of Christ who don't know the meaning of sickness or disease anymore. They are scattered all across various churches 
who have found this truth and are operated by it and are uh, commanding dominion with our sweat. Now, today, I see many, many people around the world baptized into this realm of dominion over sickness and disease. Amen. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. How the world empowers us to walk in dominion over sickness and disease. The word of God quickens our mortal body. It causes to come alive. And living our mortal, our mortal bodies. In John 6, 63, he said it is the spirit that quickens. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. My words carry quickening forces. So when you receive the word, there's a quickening of your body. Your body is made to come alive. Your body lives again. Your body is quickened. Can I hear your amen? amen? That's why when the, the Bible says when your light breaks forth, your head springs up speedily. When revelation breaks forth into your mind, into your spirit man, it quickens your body speedily. It quickens your body speedily. Isaiah 58 and verse 8. Now, listen to this. It will bless you. The number three way the world empowers us to walk in dominion is the fact that the world transmits divine nature. The word of God transmits divine nature which is immune to sickness and disease. It transmits divine nature. It transmits divine nature. Mm. The word transmits divine nature. Remember in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. The word transmits divine nature because the word is God. Can I hear your amen? amen. Hear what he said. My son, attend to my word. Proverbs 4, 20 and 22. Incline thy ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. So the word transmits life. Divine life. Divine life. The word transmits life. Divine life. That's why people who walk in dominion over sickness and disease, they feed on the word naturally, alwaysly. They feed on the word. They, they rejoice at the word as one that has found great spoils. By so doing, life is being transmitted constantly into them. The kingdom life, eternal life. Praise God. Hallelujah. In Second Peter chapter 1, verse 4, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises as contained in the world, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. So we partake of divine nature via the exceeding great and precious promises contained in scriptures. Thereby escaping from the corruption that is in the world through lust. Divine nature distinguishes the believer 
from the things that afflict and assault others. So divine nature is in this book. Our revelation is what gives us access to it. So as we begin to walk in the realms of revelation of the truth, we are imbibing divine nature. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that is the ultimate in our quest for dominion over sickness and disease. Divine nature cannot accommodate sickness. Divine nature cannot accommodate disease. Divine nature cannot accommodate pain. Therefore, as the world is going right now, I see every pain, every ache, every affliction, every torture, every terminal disease tormenting anyone. I see them out of your bodies now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I was teaching years ago, 1983, and somebody felt a touch on his body. In the course of the teaching, went to the toilet, and for the first time in six years, there was no blood in his faces. Now it was already scheduled for a procedure. Amen. It was scheduled for a procedure. The light broke forth. He felt a touch in his body. Went to the washroom, and his eyeballs came out. After six years of continuous passage of blood, it ceased by the world. Glory to God. Somebody is on this service right now online, wherever you are in the world. Nerushkano balato seseno. Erishka gagarato prek tenero dialeta. Zazurush keradesa galato ra. Every pain, every ache, every discomfort, every disorder, whatever it may be upon anyone's life or members of your household, Shagike, Ogake Tano, Eruza Proctene Rodia, Sesi Sere Kotam Brekenetaba, Eya Shaga, Garotane, Empopono, Tesi Alata, Ecrodia Le Shakla Rado Baleko, Mamalet, Ezolia, Erotane, Erubika, Yeshi garada sano te prokena radusa ene po kolote silaba by the power and authority of the world I command the liberty of all I command your healing now I decree your healing now I decree your healing now I decree your healing now and I decree your dominion over sickness and disease in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. Remember in Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16, seek ye out of the book of the law and read, none of, no one of these shall fail, none shall want her made. For my mouth it has spoken, it has commanded, and his spirit it has gathered them. So it is the spirit of God that gathers the word. So when you receive the word, the spirit of the Lord enters. Amen. Amen. The nature of God enters. Amen. And your dominion established. Amen. When you receive the word on any subject, you are just there in command. For he still upholds all things by the word of his power. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. He still upholds all things by the word of his power. Something has broken loose this morning. Amen. Your sonship has been unveiled. Amen. Medication is not a sin, please. But God has made adequate provision for us in redemption to operate in dominion over sickness and disease. It's not an achievement, so nobody can take pride in it. It's the free gift of God. Is 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 the free gift of God. 
It's not an accomplishment. It's not because you are strong. It's because somebody has paid for it. He said you have been bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God. You have been bought. The price for your total health. The price for my total health has been fully paid. Has been fully paid. Has been fully paid. Has been fully paid. It's not our achievement. It's our benefit. It's just of grace. It's not that we knew it. It's not that we saw it. Just that God shows it. Now can I tell you this? And this is why the glory must go back to God. The secret things of life belong to God. Only those things he reveals we can assess. So every revelation is a gift. Every revelation is a gift. Someone uh, took hold of one of my books in 1986. Keys to Divine Health. And on page 20 of that edition, he said he just discovered that the devil is not a gentleman. I didn't write it there. He just discovered that the devil is not a gentleman. Meanwhile, he was on admission for hypertension and high blood pressure. In a hospital where the doctor is a doctor. When he read that page, he jumped up. He said, I'm going home. They called the doctor, your father says, going. He said, nobody can keep me here. I'm going now. I'm going now. I saw him next in 1996. He showed the letter I wrote him when I saw that in the crowd. I said, they should let him come. He said, I sent you my testimony in 1986. This is the reply you sent back to me. Now, this is 1996. I don't know any sickness or disease. I blood pressure, hypertension is gone. Now, it's more, I mean, much older than it was. Ten years ago, you should know that from it by light. By light. By light. Now you may take that book now. It may not be on page 20 anymore. You may have read the package. But <laughs> he just caught light and he got free. He just caught light and he got free. Now 1996 86 to 1996 whatever the world does is forever. Whatever the world delivers is forever. So get excited. Your long drawn battle over sickness and disease is finally over. It's finally over. It's finally over. It shall be a month of discoveries for you. A month of discoveries that will establish your dominion Amen. over all oppressions of the devil. Amen. It shall be a week of discoveries for you Amen. that will establish your dominion over all works of the devil Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the biggest clap offering. Give him a shout of victory. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand and celebrate the faithfulness of God. Celebrate the sweetness of light. Celebrate the sweetness of light. Celebrate the sweetness of light. In Jesus' precious name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say with me, light is sweet. And it's a pleasant thing for the eye to behold the sun. Thank you for light, Jesus. Thank you for light this morning. I'm free at last. I'm free forever. I give you all the glory. I give you all the glory. Amen. Very quickly this morning, someone is here under the sound of my voice around the world that is not born again yet until our sonship is secure our dominion is not in view until our sonship is secured by redemption 
our dominion in life is not in view. Wherever anyone may be this morning, in small group gatherings, yourself alone, with your hand peace. But you know that you know you don't have the experience of new birth. And you want to have it because you must have it for life to respond, to keep responding to you favorably. I'd like to pray with you. May I request that every such individual lift up their right hand wherever they are and pray this prayer of faith after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive me all my, sins. All my sins. I believe, I believe you, died me. you died for me. On the third day, the third day you, rose you rose again that I may be set free from the power of sin and Satan. And Satan. Today, Today, I accept you, I accept you as, my as my Lord and my Savior. And, my Savior. and I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified, I'm justified by your blood. I am now a child of God. I now have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. I know at the end of my journey, a most triumphant journey, I shall spend eternity with Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, I pray over each one of you that has just prayed this prayer. Be blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover each one with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. You run this race to the end. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please send us your testimony of new birth. Test, send us your testimony of the healings that took place in this service. And then uh, testimony not shared is a risk. It stands the risk of being lost. Share your testimony for its perfection, its multiplication. And then you keep seeing the hand of God on your life. The testimony lines are on there. And we'll be waiting to hear from you and remain part of your joy for life. In Jesus' precious name. Shall we all stand? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your two hands, everybody. And thank God for the reality of your dominion over sickness and disease. I found a new way of living. Would you do that song, please? Glory to God. I'd like you to sing it now with this new light to God. Found a new way of living. There are people here today that as Jesus tarries, the remaining days of your life, you won't taste of sickness or disease again. Amen. Sickness and disease shall have no foothold in your household. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I found a new way of living. Come on now. Let's celebrate God with that. Every sickness is flying out now. Every disease is surrendering now. The gates are opening up. The gates are lifting up your head. I found a new way of living. Come on now. I found a new life in Christ. I've got the fruit of the Spirit. I'm abiding, abiding in the I found a new way.